Hello, my name is Thomas De La Vega, and I'm sure that most of us know that we are in a technologically advanced society. This suggests that our educational systems are also becoming advanced with technology as well to improve the education of our students. But this promotes the problem that some students are being deprived of this educational need of adequate internet access and adequate digital devices in order, in order to thrive in a technologically advanced classroom. This problem with education in today's society is that students do not have the right resources to thrive in a technologically advanced classroom. However, this can be solved by the creation of programs to help these students and by us taking action in order to fund these programs to help these students. Now, the entire purpose of this entire presentation is to persuade you that you should take part in solving these problems of students deprived of internet access and or devices for schooling because of their community or their financial situation. The significance of this problem is very big because EdSure statistics states that, and I quote, 12 million students in this country still lack any internet access at all. And that number is steadily, steadily increasing. End quote. Even though internet access is greatly needed to thrive in school today, 12 million children, uh, 12 million students are being deprived of that educational need, which is adequate internet, internet access. Now, what will be discussed is the problem with education today's society, being that students do not have the right resources to thrive in a technolo technological, technological advanced classrooms. And this can be solved by the creation of programs that will be discussed later, and programs that help these students to take action and help us to take action to fund and support these programs in order to help these students. Now, the problem is that the problem is in this educational field, and it's that some students in technological classrooms do not have internet connection or adequate device devices to do good in school at home. The problem is that many students are put at a disadvantage in school because of their lack of internet connection at home. For example, children that are given homework online on Google Classroom or other applications do not have adequate, some of them do not have adequate internet connection at home for devices. And this causes them to become, to academically, and I quote, academically fall behind in the words of change.org. But the main people affected by this problem are students throughout elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, and even college, causing, and I quote, limited access to those with slow internet connection needed for education, says Michigan State University. Statistics show that 31% of Latino and Black ethnicities have no internet access at home, with 17% of Latino and Black ethnicities not even having a computer at home, showing how certain communities are also being put at a disadvantage in our technological classrooms because of their financial situation or their, or their societal situation. Students being unable to complete homework at home is an example of why students without internet access at home is a problem, as well as, as, well as another example of not being able to connect with teachers and classmates outside of the classroom, causing the students to become, to fall behind in their academic performance. This problem could be dated back to the very beginning of when internet started taking place in school, starting in 2001. Statistics from the National Center of Education, Educational Statistics show that 99% of public schools in the United States had accepted technology in the classroom, therefore promoting the problem that some students will not be able to go with that 99% of schools that already had technology in the classroom because they did not have adequate internet access or adequate devices at home. We should care about this problem as a society because poor internet connection leaves rural students behind, says Michigan State University. And with students not being able to get the education they need, then this will create less educated communities. This problem has been acknowledged across America and people have created programs to solve this problem. 
the organ the organization of devices for students, which I will bring up now. Which I will bring up now. This organization of devices for students is striving to fix this problem of a lack of internet connection for students and lack of digital devices. The history, the history of this organization is that two longtime friends who grew up with limited access to devices in lower income communities, Jay and Chris, quickly saw a need for quality digital resources in the Bay Area school districts and joined forces with local public school teacher, Bridget, and and an advocate for underrepresented groups of tech, Katrina, Katrina, who jumped on board and, and de supported Devices for Students was formed. Devices for Students later partnered with Spark, the Ravenswood Education Foundation, nonprofit school districts, corporate partners, and community to make sure the Bay Area students, regardless of socioeconomic status, have access to the same online learning opportunities and their, their um, history can be found on their website right here. Now, their mission statement is that, and I quote, devices for students aims to close the resource divide between students at home and access to online learning throughout partnerships with generous businesses, community organizations, and local schools. We connect and technical resources with students who need them most, end quote. That is their mission statement. This is where the history is, with Jay and Chris starting up this thing. And the program, this organization provides purchases heavily discounted laptops and uh, data, data hotspots and pro processes donated devices through the community and local sponsors, then configure all the software and hardware at a staging location and handle training and, and, and enablement to teachers and students. You can take part in this as well by going to the donate. Now, you can take part through donations to this charity. Now, the action that you can take to help this organization is by donating, shown here. Your, your and I quote, your donations are spent on students, not salaries. It says it right here. Um, says devices for students. You can donate by going to sparksprogram.org and donating there through their donation procedure. And th this is their donation procedure. And the main purpose of these donations are, and I quote, to make sure that your tax deductible donations are spent directly on getting reliable Wi-Fi and internet connected devices into the hands of students who need them most, end quote, coming from the donations page, coming from this page of devices for students leading us to truly know leading us to truly know that devices for students is a reliable organization to help solve the problem of bad internet and a bad internet and adequate devices for students in our education system now uh, for our conclusion the problem with education in today's society is that students do not have the right resources to thrive in a technologically advanced classroom. And this can be solved by the creation of organizations such as Devices for Students and taking, taking the action, us taking the action to fund and support nonprofit organizations such as these. Leaving us with hope for our communities Knowing that, fun, knowing that in funding organizations such as this, we are providing opportunities to all students, no matter their financial situations. Thank you.